Hi everybody, this is Father Warner D'Souza. Today we continue with our series every Sunday called The Simple Truth. So here is a simple truth. The more you love someone, the less time you have to judge them. The more you judge them, the less time you have to love them. Now just for a second, think of the person in your life that you once loved or someone whose very name now makes your skin crawl. Ask yourself, why do I not love them as I once did or why do I hate them so much? Truth be told, the only thing that crosses your mind right now is how much you dislike them and are unable to think of a single nice thing about them because all you end up doing is judging the other first. There is no room for anything in your mind but hate. The problem, ironically, is not so much with them as much as it is in your head. Hate consumes you to such an extent that there is no time to even grant them an ounce of goodness and in the bargain you become a prisoner of negativity. The first time I met Father Agnello Gracious, now Bishop, was when I was interviewed as a candidate for the seminary way back in 1991. Father Agnello was the rector of St. Pius X College and I was all of 21 years old, fresh out of my course in hotel management. In his typical style, he took me for a cup of tea and then, when I was a bit relaxed, he began the interview. I recall the meeting as a bit comical, for he punctuated every line with the words, good, good. It was hard to suppress a smile if not control my laughter. It was always a double assertion of the word good and if he was super happy, the good knew no end. At first I used to think that these repeated assertions of the word good were a little annoying. How can anything and everything be good? But Father Agnello never had the time to judge people for he always loved first. The repeated assertions of the word good had now become a way of life for him. Everything he saw was good and anyone whom he came across was first loved. It's almost like he had no time to judge. The goodness was all he saw in the other. Does this mean that Father Agnello lived in a world of denial? Could he never see that which was wrong? Absolutely not. But what is true? is that this constant disposition to see the good in others helped him to see the person first and then the fault. He judged less and loved more and in the process won many hearts. Once our relationship begin to go south, we only begin to judge and stop loving. People don't really change, our perspective and expectations of them do. This was the same person you once hung around fell in love with, thought the world of, and now you've, all you feel is disgust. In truth, perhaps, they were always disgusting, but at that period of your relationship, you chose not to see any of it because then you chose to love first and judge less. You made the allowances for the mistakes and also the hurts that you felt. You ignored them because you chose to love more. Now, while it seems to have all changed, it does not have to be that way. For when you decide to love more, you automatically judge less. I hope these reflections truly touch your heart and life. If uh, you'd like them so much, please share them with somebody you know who needs to hear this message. And um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go right ahead and do so.